Oh, hey, as we wrap things up, shout out to the McDonald brothers. Uh, they said that you got a good rookie, rookie dinner. So what I guess I'll paint the picture on rookie dinner stories. So what rookie dinners are is the new rookie in your position group takes the position group out for dinner. There's different ways to go about it. It can be a party. It could be just casual. It could be whatever. But essentially, you're paying the bill. There's no argument. There's no discussion. You're paying the bill. Um, it could be a really extravagant dinner if you got some high draft picks. If you got some undrafted guys, you take care of them. Usually a vet picks up the, picks it up anyways. But so Ryan Bates, th is this your? This is my is rookie. Your, okay, your rookie dinner story. Yeah, this is my rookie year. Uh, we decided to do an O-line trip to Vegas. And so we're all out in Vegas. and Private jet or no? Oh, no, 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 no. Flew out of Buffalo. Uh, yeah, I, I flew coach. Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and so before rookie dinner, we went to this nice steakhouse. Um, and I was fortunate enough that being a rookie, there was another rookie in the room with me. There's actually two, two other rookies in the room with me. Um, Cody Ford was a second round draft pick out of Oklahoma. And so, which was nice in my case, being an undrafted guy, uh, Cody was a second round draft pick. He had all the money. So I was like, okay, uh, it worked out well for me because since he was such a high draft pick, they made him pay the bill and I had to pay the tip. And so well, actually me and the other undrafted rookie uh, P squad player, had to split the tip. And since I was in the active, he was in the P squad, the tip was $1,600. I paid a thousand, he paid 600. So it worked out for me. Uh, and then Cody had to pay for the $8,000. That was the tip. And that was the, the bill. And so I was like, whew, I was sweating my ass off thinking like, Oh, I got to, <laughs> but I'm about to drop like five grand. I got to split it with Cody. And so it, it worked out for me. Um, but Bill comes around, Cody's paying the bill. I obviously, I'm paying the tip. So I, I asked the waiter, like, hey, can I pay the tip on this card? He tells me, no, um, we can't. If you can't pay two separate cards on the same bill, I don't know. Gave me some excuse. So I was like, all right, well, I don't have $1,000 of cash in my pocket. Like, I, I don't know what you want me to do. So one of the guys, his name is Ty Naseki, great dude, great dude. Um, he wound up helping me a lot. You know, being a tackle with my development, you know, helped me out so much, uh, a little bit. Uh, but big dude, if you don't know this guy, I mean, he's you look at this dude walking down the street and you're just like, I want to get out of this dude's way because big dude, uh, got long dreads, he's got all tatted up, all six, seven, 345 pounds of them. And so big, big dude. And so he winds up footing me the tip, he wound, winds up having a thousand dollars cash on him. And he goes, hey, here's the cash. Uh, basically tells me, I leave in 48 hours. I want my money before I leave. And so I was like, what the fuck? Like, I got to get him $1,000, like, before he leaves in 48 hours. I was like, how am I going to do this? And so the whole next day, I'm on the phone with my, with my car, with my, with my uh, debit card company. And... I got PNC and it's still, it's still my same card I had in college. So there's like a, it's, a, it's like a student, um, student account or whatever you call it. And so there's a limit to $500. I can only withdraw $500. So I'm like, I only have five, I only have half the money. I can't go to him and tell me, oh, I don't have the other $500. And so I wound up taking that $500, going to the blackjack table and I did it. I, I got, I got the extra $500. I made $500 from the 500 I had. And it came to like probably like $1,200. I had like two extra 200 bucks. I was like, I can't believe I pulled this shit off. Like, I can't believe I did this. And so I, as soon as I got the money, I cashed out. I went to him. I'm like, hey, here's your money. We're clean. We're scot-free. I'm scot-free now. He's like, good, good. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And so I got it all in time. And I was, he left, he, he was leaving the next day too. And so it was, I wound up, like I said, I wound up taking that $500 because like I said, it was a $500 limit to withdraw money from my PNC account. And so I wound up taking that $500 to the black check table and I made it out like a band. That's the type of initiative and want to that I just, I love. I don't know if I have it. I don't know. If I'm, I, not a, I'm not a gambler. I don't, I don't do that. Like I, I, yeah. I don't play 
blackjack very often. I barely knew how to play it when I got to Vegas. And, Duty calls, man. Duty calls. Yeah, and I had a couple of days prior to, you know, get my toes wet with it and, you know, see how it is, see what, the, you know, the different – the different uh, – what's the word I'm looking for? The different uh, – yeah, ins and outs yeah yeah the details one of the ins and outs story yeah so unbelievable that's unbelievable story yeah, so you pulled that off i mean you were jacked up you took that 200 bucks you felt like you just oh, made jacked up um <laughs> and yeah i mean it could have worked out better for me 